Good morning, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. We're starting the day out here, taking the Joster for a little walk, and then I'm gonna go out and do a pretty fun vlog. I mean, I feel like every day is kind of fun, but today, we're gonna actually see something that has been there for quite a while, but not exactly the same one. It's kind of a weird story, and I'm gonna tell you about it when we get there. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. And there's your pal jaw. There's your pal jaw. Now what we're gonna see today is actually a mural to one of the greatest of all Hollywood actors, one of the greatest leading men in the last 50 years, and even beyond that, one of the greatest Los Angeles actors, and even beyond that, one of the greatest Hollywood Silver Lake actors. So I mean, this guy was totally homegrown. What a beautiful sky today. It's this weird mixture of overcast, but the sun is out. I don't know how to explain it, but I love these kind of days. He's found a pretty nice patch of grass here, so he's been really enjoying it. This is, I mean, this is actually one of the only nice patches of grass in this neighborhood. Holy cow. I see this and I just started thinking of that Billy Joel song, Moving Out. That table would be perfect for like a wrestling match for somebody to get thrown through it. It's exactly that thin kind that they use. See, see what happened. See what happens when you watch Ric Flair documentaries. I don't think they could use that. All right, let the adventure begin. On to the 101. Well, we're getting close. We've made it to downtown LA. This neighborhood kind of makes you feel like you've stepped back in time. It's got that old Victorian house look to all the houses. We're actually looking for the mural down here. All right, well, we're close. I drove right past it, so I had to find somewhere to park, and now we're gonna go over and check this masterpiece out. Now this, like I said, this isn't the original, but ah, it's a weird story. And false alarm, this is not the mural we came to see. This is just one we are passing by on our way. So in the early 70s, there was this local artist, this guy going around painting murals all over the place. I mean, literally, it started like in 1970, 1971. His name is Kent Twitchell. And he started posting murals of these kind of well-known figures. He did Ed Rushi and he did Steve McQueen, king of the cool. And this is the Steve McQueen one. Now, you're going, how is this still here after all this time? Well, it's a kind of an interesting story. See, Kent Twitchell painted this in 1971 and it actually was here for literally 30 years. And then the people that owned this house sold the house. And the story apparently goes that the people that moved in afterward uh, were not from this country and had a little bit of a language barrier and so they didn't actually really know what the significance was of it They they liked it, but they didn't really know um, why it was a big deal or anything and Apparently at some point they had some work done on this house and the workers that they hired misunderstood their um, misunderstood their direction and actually painted over this and so after standing here for 30 years the painting was gone. Now, what's kind of fascinating is that an art student actually found pictures of this the way it was, and I'll, uh, I'll post those pictures here. He actually found pictures of the way it used to be when it was first completed, and actually showed up over here and talked to the family that lived here, and um, found out exactly what happened, that they said, you know, that, that they um, didn't want the mural removed, but that there was an, you know, kind of like a, um, misdirection by the crew that was working on the house at the time and they painted over it and so the student went and found Kent Twitchell and told him the story and Quent Kent Twitchell decided to come out here on the 30th anniversary of Steve McQueen's death and he decided to repaint at the request of the homeowners to repaint his mural exactly the way it was in 1970 or 1971 actually so here it is 
and it actually measures in about 20 feet by 15 feet, I believe is what I saw online. And it's exactly like you see, it's crystal blue. I mean, it's just magnificent. And like I said, he was a, he was a hometown guy, so even more special that they would have this great monument brought back to him. And now, apparently, like you can go all over the city and Kent Twitchell has done numerous uh, murals of various people all over the city and actually comes out and does the touch-ups and restorations himself. Sometimes he'll be um, just out roaming the city and we'll uh, stop over at one of his pieces and touch it up a little bit, which I thought was great. So a big thank you to Fernando Cervantes, who was the art student that was studying Kent Twitchell, saw this mural, and then took it upon himself to come over here and get it all back set in motion. Thanks to him, Kent Twitchell came out, redid this masterpiece, and anybody driving down Union can enjoy this anytime. How great is that? Art for everyone to enjoy. Here it is from across the street. And the reason I showed you this is because right across the street, is this pretty interesting little uh, neighborhood community garden. And I thought I would, I would walk through it because there's some little murals and things in there. It's actually called the uh, Union Avenue Cesar Chavez Community Garden, but it's locked up, so not much of a community garden if you can't get in there. But from over the fence, I'll show you some of the interesting things. This guy's gonna invite me in. That was really nice. A gentleman saw me standing outside looking looking around and trying to get some footage and asked me if I wanted to come in and unlocked it for me. And this is actually what I wanted to get over here to show you. I thought this was a nice little mural. Very interesting, especially with Los Angeles history. And like I showed you when we walked in, it's the Cesar Chavez Park, so. And then, of course, this. It's a nice little community garden. Right here in the city. Then let's go down here. This was the other thing that I wanted to check out. Look, it's designed like the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Kind of goes in the same exact pattern. That's so cool. That guy saw me standing out here, let me in, and then when I was saying goodbye, he said, oh, just lock the door. <laughs> Sometimes people can be really nice in this city. I promised him I would lock it, and I'm gonna lock it. There, you guys are a witness. He's inside, but hopefully he has a key. And then just as we're leaving the park, they have a full-blown soccer field right there. Oh, there's the King Eddie Saloon. I'm gonna be vlogging that someday. All right, well, I just got home and had some mail. Let's see what's inside. Ah, I know what it is. I bought one of these international adapters. You'll see here that it says UK, US, Australia, 
That one's the Europe one. Kind of need these things. Um, I have individual ones, but it's nice to have one of these that you can put two or three things in and use it that way. So, figured I'd buy one just to have it for the trip. And how that works is if you need the US, push it that way. If you need the U the Australian one, all right, no, that's UK, right? Yeah, if you need UK, you go there. And then uh, Europe. Ah, okay, the Europe one's over here. Nifty, there you go, cool. I've actually made it through my last two trips without having one of those things, but, and that's just because I have like the individual ones for every cable, which really gets to be a pain and it's monotonous. Um, having to find two or three of those, because I have, I'm charging two different kinds of batteries now. Um, change, charging my, uh, my little tablet, charging my phone charging um, my little Chromebook that I got. I bought a refurbished Chromebook so that I can do um, a lot of the things that you need to do as far as um, some of the features for YouTube. You have to do through Google and you have to do it through Google Chrome and I didn't have any kind of uh, computer or anything that's current enough actually to, to do that. So I found a $60 refurbished uh, Chromebook that should be arriving actually today or tomorrow and I'm gonna take that with me. So. There's like a whole myriad right there of like, what was that, six or seven things that you have to plug in to charge every night. So, um, plus I might get a pocket Wi-Fi. I think that's probably a good idea. Um, so having one of those adapters, those universal adapters, primo, gotta have it. Well, we're back. And if you didn't watch my live stream from yesterday, you don't know that I'm going to Belgium in two and a half weeks. That's right. We're road vlogging it. like a bullet. What a beggar. No interest in the bone, huh? Any interest in that? No? Well, I picked this up at the dollar store today. How awesome for a dollar. It's like one of those Rudolph noses. So, at some point, I'll be wearing that. Looking good, Pantages. Kind of nice to see the Hollywood Plaza somewhat lit up. Kind of restored to some of its former glory when George Burns had his office in there. As always, Trader Joe's. All right, well, I got the groceries. I'm going to head home, and I'm going to start watching something that has to do with our vlog tomorrow. Well, good evening, my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the Steve McQueen mural in downtown Los Angeles. And tomorrow I have, hopefully, a big one. This is one that I've been wanting to do for a while, and just about everybody I know loves this one. And um, I'm going to try and do it. I don't know if I'll have any success getting inside, but I'm going to try. So come back and see me tomorrow. Um, if you want a Christmas card from me, join Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Jordan the Lion. Anybody that joins and uh, is a member by December 1st that donates $3 or more, I'm going to be sending you a Christmas card. So there you go. Have a great night. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.